Okay. Alright, so this one's got... Uh, what is that? Self-cleaning nozzles. I don't... I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. This one... Ooh, deployable screens. Yeah, that could be... Oh, God, yeah, if he makes a mess, that could be good. Ah, uh, let's see. This one... Self-draining containment unit. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to encourage your containing shit. Uh... Top of the line. Nope, that's too expensive. Absolutely not. Ah, shit, it feels like I'm back on a date nap. <sighs> Maybe this one. Hey, you know what? Yeah, that. Uh, this this one. It looks. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, that looks like it's got enough facilities. It's not too bad expense wise. I do like the deployable screens. Uh. Yeah, it's got a built-in drain. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, I can they should put it in order. Uh, how do I have to talk to a person for this one? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I want to buy it. Put in my date of birth. I don't. Ah, <sighs> my mother's maiden name. No, you don't need that information. No, you. No. Uh. Uh. Uh, maybe, can't cancel. Cancel. No, not subscribe. Cancel. That <sighs> piece is always better at this. Uh, all right. No, I'm not putting my mother's name, name, but I will. I just. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I bought it. I think. God, I think I bought. Do I? Did I get a? Confirmation email. Has it got a no number on it that I did it? Yes. <sighs> okay. When does it say it's going to get delivered? You can see that the medical bay will probably take about a week or so to get installed. Um, however, there is a, an asterisk um, sort of next to this information. Um, you can see that there, there's some kind of notification there in red that says there may be delays due to technical difficulties. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, great ocean and all that fun. All right, that yeah, week is fine. You also have another notification there, Barry. <sighs> what is this one? I pull it up. You see that there is a flyer with a uh, animated sort of uh, advertisement that plays a holographic. Oh. And you can immediately start to recognize some of the graphics that are used as you see an advertisement for the Speed Demon Monster Jam. There is, in fact, a very popular race that is run sort of at random times. It says, yeah. no guts, no glory. Uh, let me let me take a single guess on who's on that roster. There is no roster here. Good. All but right. it does say some of the best and fastest racers in the soul system will be there in the lawless area of the Ceres asteroid belt. Anything how much goes once the light turns green. Yeah. How much is the prize pool? The prize pool is 30 cred. Ah, oh, shit. That's the total prize pool that is advertised. You also know that there is... Well, there's a lot of side bets that take place. And there's also a lot of other things that happen during these races. 
People have different motivations. Racing is not the only thing that happens here. Oh, God. Do I... I definitely, like, am eyeing the helm a bit and thinking back a few years. Are you now? Yeah. I mean... Would you say that this might be a flashback? I think it is. Indeed a flashback. As Barry begins to think on back, you reminisce, Barry, about the last time that you were involved with the Speed Demon Race. Last time you were in this race, Barry, you had a very different mentality going in, didn't you? A little bit. A little bit. What was it? No guts, no glory. I mean, didn't didn't matter if the, uh, you know, collateral damage was about. It was kind of the whole thing. Molly is a better racer than most people think. Like, a lot better. All those little tiny ships flying around. Trying to get one up on me, and uh, I just gotta give them a little nudge occasionally, and... You know, they'll go and do their thing somewhere else. Was there anybody in particular that caused you... Problems, personal or otherwise, in the last race? Barry? I mean, uh, you know, problems are sometimes fun. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Cross was uh, a bit of a problem. Bit of a problem, but the, uh, the most fun to, uh, race up against. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. <sighs> He's in this race, though, I'm pretty damn sure. Because of course he is. What do you say, Barry? <sighs> you want a race? What else am I going to do? Go back to trucking? No. Nah. nah, this is way more fun. <sighs> A lot Why more don't thrill. You show me how fast you are, Barry. Yeah, I'll show you again. Showed you last time, and you pretend you didn't see it. <sighs> Can't be fast Molly. all the time. Yeah, 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 that's what you say, and then you lose. So, you know, I suppose you're speaking from experience, eh? Hey, Charles? <sighs> you 
You ready, Molly? I think you're ready. All right, got my got my bobblehead, got Mama's ring. It's, uh... Okay. You put the ring on, Barry. Oh yeah. When you put it's always the on ring for the on. races. You are greeted by a hologram that begins to pop up. You see a few lights turn on on the ring, and you are greeted by a hologram of Cassie that appears. Hey, Barry. Um, look, this was only the safe, the, the safest way that I could get in touch with you. Um, look, um, I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that we haven't really, uh, gotten along very well lately. I've been trying to reach out to you and you've been a pain in my ass as usual. Uh... Look, Barry, I'm going to take on a job here, and it's real dangerous. Um, I know you're probably going to look for me, um, but just do me a favor and, and don't. I don't want you getting hurt. I'm working for some pretty dangerous people, but if I, if I do a good job, then, well... I should be set for life. And, uh, you know, I can help you out with whatever you need to for Molly. And I just, I want to make sure that I can pay off the shop. I'm, I'm getting behind in payments and, um, I don't want to ask you for any any cred because I know you probably don't have any credit so it's not on you anyway um so don't come looking for me I'll be fine and I'll I'll reach out to you soon okay um don't worry, I didn't mess with the ring or anything. There's just a little DNA scanner on the inside there. You can just pop that off. Just had to make sure nobody else was going to look at it. Um, try not to get yourself killed, okay? Hey, you too, sis. Hologram turns off. Ah, shit. I could have paid that damn rent of hers. <sighs> I pop the DNA scanner off and give it a crush. Eh, uh, you knew I'd eventually put this damn thing on. Uh. Well, Bob's looking into her, so he'll find something eventually. Because no way in hell I'm letting you off the hook, sis. Always tell me my jobs are way too damn dangerous. Give me shit, and then you do this. Ha! Uh. Uh, I call up Peace. Peace, it's about this time that you have accepted the invitation to Haven when you get a communique from Barry. Hi, uh, Peace? 
Yes, sir. Ah, there you are. <sighs> um, I got a, I got a couple of things. I got the medical bay ordered. It'll be a couple of weeks, uh, probably, due to you know, the station and all. Oh, good. Vertigo will be very happy. Yeah, I bet. I got the one with the, the folding in and out screens that'll keep mass contained, you know. Let's see. Uh, lead on sis is uh, cold at the moment, so I gotta wait for Bob on that one. Okay. And uh, I'm... How am I... How, how, how much time do you think you're gonna need on the, uh, on the station? Well, sir, if I'm going to give you a full disclosure, things have happened. And, okay. um, well, it would be best if we discussed it in person. Nothing, uh, emergency. No, no one is in danger. As of yet. All right. There have been some developments. Okay. What? Well, I mean, uh, all right. I, I was just curious if, if you have an idea of uh, how how long how long you think we want to be on the station. Like you got work here, that's that's fine. I, I'm just I'm curious because I have a I got a, I got a pro prospect on on mm -hmm. some. Give me 15 minutes, and I will bring you back. Let you know. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. No, abs absolutely. I have uh, pulled up the the race like entry form and have already started filling out information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, great. Yeah, I'll wait for that call. Uh, I'm just going putz around and uh, get get what I need to done uh, here on the Molly. Uh, all's all's good in the neighborhood. Uh, th thank, thank you. Peace, sir. I'll talk. Yeah, sir. Yeah. When you're excited, you start babbling. I, I would. I Are would you never excited babble. about something, sir? No, I'd, I'd never be a ever doing. Any I I'll talk to you later. Peace. But uh, talk to you soon. Bye. I hang up. <laughs> Hundred percent. He's lying. Peace. <laughs> oh, I didn't need my ability to know that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i fill out the form and just submit it <laughs> sure um vertigo code um are you staying aboard the station are you um trying to meet up with each other or anything along those lines code you were on the um you were on the security cameras you saw vertigo curious yeah. what you are up to I am sitting with my feet up on a console <clears throat> and just uh, having a camera's trail vertigo mm -hmm. I seem to be making my way back to the molly hmm well she seems like she's good to go um mm -hmm. I'm going to walk around the station some more. Sure. Now, Code, is this your main residence? No. Okay. Um, so, you have been here many times, though. Mm, yeah. Yes. How Contemplated you, living here. Yeah, how do you feel about seeing all this kind of, like, destruction and whatnot on the station? Does it make you feel anything? Uh, I'm in denial. Because opportunity was supposed to be better away from Titan. So it would lead to more, less planned paths. But now I'm starting to realize that my family was right about humans tend to destroy things because of them being overly ambitious. And though I don't know the extremes of what's going on, I do know that the projects are being held are human driven from what I gathered from what I've seen. And I'm a bit, I'm fighting with myself right now. 
but I'm trying to hide it with a straight face. So I don't. You're mm. you're kind of disassociating with the um, the things that are happening around you. I mean, there's a lot of wounded and whatnot as you make your yeah. way through the station. Um, and um, are you heading anywhere in particular right now? Mm. Or are you just kind of looking around the station? Yeah, I'm just kind of in disbelief. Uh, walking around and trying to make situations seem better than what they are. Okay. I have a brief moment where I see wounded and I'm kind of want to touch and change like their mindsets and put their minds at ease. But then Eden plays in the back of my head and um, Alora plays in the back of my head telling me that it's wrong not to do that. But then on top of that, I have this itch, this feeling from Nadai creeping up and it's like I'm, I'm fiddling with my hands and I and I kind of want to further my abilities but I don't want to at the same time so I kind of rip myself away from that location and keep walking so um what I'll say then is um you see a pretty large gamut of different things um, on your walk. You see people hurt. You see um, emergency operations and recovery. And um, I think you see some engineering activities happening. There's a few areas of the ship, again, that are kind of like compromised. And there's various like warnings that are put up, like, you know, um, area may be exposed to. Um, uh, um, potential like radiation leaks and stuff like that um and um you know i imagine you stick clear of those areas as necessary mm -hmm. um there's kind of like some detours that people are making um and you can see that um like pretty obviously the station has taken some pretty serious damage here um this is mm -hmm. uh this is going to take a few months probably to completely repair um even with the emergency personnel that they have um go ahead and make me a have a roll here i think okay um i think this will probably be a study roll from what i'm gathering um mm -hmm. from what you're doing you're just kind of checking stuff out as you as you make your way around okay position uh, um controlled i think and limited is the uh, effect. Four. Okay. Um, I think you pick up a little bit of just kind of some background conversations here and there about um, the uh, the military presence here and where, like, a lot of people asking questions like, "Where is the third fleet? Why isn't it?" You know, what happened? Why weren't they here? Stuff like mm. that. Um, mm. You know, a lot of people wondering what's going on. The, the station's supposed to be well protected and it's supposed to be one of the most secure stations in the solar system. Um, so there's a lot of chatter going on. You don't really pick up any details, though. Um, a lot of worry uh, about the whole situation. And then kind of like... Um, I think from from an indefinite source, you're not really sure where you kind of heard it just mm. as you were making your way through. You heard something along the lines of, like, the third fleet was called away. Mm. Mm. Called away from the station? You would get that impression. Does it sound beneficial? Mm. Do, I see any, do I see anyone of an importance around? There's a assume. lot of yeah. There's a lot of people around that are kind of important. Um, I would imagine there's various like politicians uh, aboard the station, and you can see like uh, you know the, the they're trying to get a handle on things and um, help with the security personnel. Just trying to uh, get people um, kind of organized and into the safe areas of the station while emergency maintenance and things are being done. Um, mm. uh, so yeah, there's definitely people around for sure. How many tight knights do I see? And are they wounded or scared? Um, there's definitely a few wounded tight knights, um, but there's a fair amount of them around. Um, 
there's um uh i would imagine there's probably like a different triage area that's set up mm. in various places um to handle titanite patients and um and humans and androids um so there's kind of like little groups that are that are put together uh just so that the right personnel can get assigned easily um okay. and uh yeah there's there's a bunch um there's a few that are wounded uh but it doesn't look like there's any serious like fatalities um uh, amongst mm. the titanites that you see i'm gonna look for the most important looking titanite uh that seems like they have an authority and walk up to them sure um, what do you think differentiates those, uh, higher ups in the Titanite culture? Um, typically I would say age would be a big one because, okay. you know, the, the wisdom behind them, um, the authentic clothing, not so hip, more so traditional, mm -hmm. um, and just the air about them, even the way they stand, uh, the bone structure, how, how they walk, uh, Kind of like Very. almost, right. Um, and you can feel the importance coming from them. Sure. Um, there's probably like a little bit of an entourage around them. Um, mm -hmm. Just maybe uh, protectorate um, type people. Um, uh, like a kind of honor guard or something along those lines. Um, and yeah, as you approach, one just kind of stands in front and looks at you. Questioningly. Um, um, what is your purpose? Uh, I am from family named Ahil, or from Titan, and forgive me, this is very informal for asking, but I think of the situation that is at hand, this, this may not be the place for formalities at the moment. Um, I see a lot of our people hurt, and this station has been attacked, and this... Uh, there was a capital ship out there, and I was wondering if you made contact with the Elders. The Elders have been notified of the attack. I can probably provide you more security while you fix things. I have a way with machinery and certain tools. You see, my family were born of engineers on the moon. I could probably heighten your security around here. But it's a slim chance, but I could at least try. I'm trying to do something good for once. You can make either a... I would imagine a consort or a sway roll? Is there any way I can show work that I've already done? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't know that you've, you've got any easily readable type things that you can kind of show your resume, okay. you know, to them. Since this is a Titanite, can I use the way? Uh, it doesn't sound like you were. I don't think so. Okay. All right. What is consort? Is that more like command? No, it's command. No, it's uh, uh, get access to resources, information, people, or places, socialize with charm and style. That's what I was saying. Either consort or sway. I have nothing in you both, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind um, of what, what you'd like to go. Sway is guile, charm, logic, lie, persuade, argue, and trick somebody. Okay. I think consort I I'm... sounds more correct, unless you're trying to do something sneaky. Yep. Let's go court, go on sword. All right, position. Uh, I'd say risky. Uh, effect mm. will be limited. <laughs> no bonus tie? Nope. I'm one good looking tie night. Okay. Uh, 30. Okay. I am sorry, we are currently occupied. I appreciate the offer for help, as I'm sure the Magistrate does as well. But unfortunately, mm. we cannot trouble you for your help at this time. Ah, uh, noted. Sorry for bothering. 
And no I, uh, worry is acceptable. But we must ask that you leave the area. The magistrate has many issues to take care of. Yes. And I uh, salute in a formal manner of two fingers across the mouth and bow, and then walk out. <sighs> I, I'm trying. I know I can do something. I can at least quell the pain. Who they are attacking this station it has something to do with the lab. Uh, and then I'll remember that, and I'll try to run, find my way towards um, Slice's office. Okay. Make your way to Slice's office, where um, you can see that there's like security outside. Um, so you have a kind of familiar scenario that happens as you um, make your way to the um, sort of trader slash merchant area of the station. You can see that there's a lot of activity here, and <sighs> the security, uh, the Ceres, uh, the the Great Ocean security um, uh, stop says, uh, "Hold there, please." Yes. Uh, can I ask what you're doing here? I'm here to see Slice. Do you know of him? Uh, yes. I believe Slice is currently meeting with some others, uh, at the moment. Uh, do you have any credentials? Uh, we're kind of in the middle of a situation here. We're going to have to, uh, put any non-emergencies on hold for now. Mm -hmm. You mean you're going to come right out and say it? You're not going to try and sneak in? Are you sure? Mm. <laughs> well, my lawyer says Hush no. you. Um, credentials. <laughs> I believe he knows me as Edrael. Yes, my formal name. As I said, um, there's currently an emergency situation here going on. If this is about business, it's going to have to wait. It's um, an emergency. Go ahead and try and sway, please. <sighs> this is a... Uh, it's a controlled position. The effect will be limited. Uh, this will have to wait until later. Once the area is completely secure, uh, you can come back and meet with Slice. The people he's meeting with, I know them. Hang on. It'll be juice away. As um, the both of you are speaking with Slice and you've gotten off the communique uh, with Barry piece, um, you can see the same security guard that was, uh, that just f found you both trying to sneak into Slice's earlier, uh, makes their way to the door. Um, Slice, there's someone that says there's an emergency outside, uh, that knows these two. I'll just come Seems up behind them at that point. It's me. Hey. Tell him you know me. I have <laughs> crucial information. I have no idea who that person is. Okay. Uh, it's Adra. Slice, can you say something, please? What would you like me to say? That he's okay to come in? Can we... I would prefer if we finished our business first. Can we... Fine. And I'll walk away. Well, just be a moment! I try to do things the right way. And this is why... I feel like Nadia is right. You try to be nice, you try to consort with these people, and they just turn you away constantly, even those when you have important information. And I storm off and walk back to Molly. Sorry to bother you, Slice. It is fine. Thank you for notifying us. So... 
what happens have, next. You have the key. It is up to you to unlock it. I will warn you, however. I have been notified of your previous use of Haven technology. This will be far more substantial. If Were you made aware that I did not know what I had at the time? Because I did not. I found it in a... <clears throat> I found it in a hiding place in a bodega in New York on Earth. Yes. One of our safe houses. Are you aware of what happened there? A year ago? I am. Care to tell me the story? Slice leans back. And, um... I think you recognize peace. There's, like, certain bits of programming that are done in a lot of androids to mimic human behavior. You know, just these little, like, ticks and things that most people don't realize they do when they get more comfortable or what have you. It is actually programmed into androids to kind of make them feel more like they're human, right? And certain androids have these little nuances that have been programmed and certain some don't. Well, then I would just bring up the argument, like, so are humans. <laughs> mm -hmm. so <laughs> they have these things programmed inside them that makes that make them blink or tick or have, you know, quirks, idiosyncrasies. The ghost in the machine. Yes. And you can see that Slice just leans back. And they say... The incident at the bodega. I believe was motivated by certain individuals in the Titanite community. At least that is what I have been able to ascertain through my various networks of information. Have you seen the security camera footage? I have, yes. I met with Echo. Or not with Echo. I met with uh, the person who was holding the weapon in the video. Her name is Jana, and she... I'm probably not telling you anything you don't already know, but... She was forced to do it. Someone controlled her mind. And our best guess was that person was a Titanite. And they were using what they call the way. I have some information about this phenomena. Slice yeah. sort of looks towards you, Eden. Yes. There have been some curious circumstances that have occurred aboard the Great Ocean Station, indicative of such powers and capabilities. Well, did you did you learn anything specific? In regards to Jana Farr, no. But anything else? I believe that there are certain individuals that have influenced several of the politicians aboard the station using the way. Do you have any idea what their end goal is? Power. Control. 
standard motivations for many creatures. Are they trying to start a conflict? That is unknown. It seems as though they are. Is that judging happening? by what the... what Jonna said in the video. She said two names, or... two groups of beings as she was firing, or before she fired. It seems like this was supposed to get out. And supposed to cause some sort of uproar. Do you think that's how they got the security to go away? If they were influencing politicians and everything? The military? That I would is assume so. One theory that I have. It is possible, but I cannot confirm this. Much of the data involved would have been. with your um, caretaker. I see. Oh, you mean her caretaker? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, it would be optimal to retrieve the doctor for both our sakes. I believe so. Okay. Well, we know who took her. I'm sorry. Is the doctor her? Yes. I know. We know who took the doctor. We might have an idea where, but we are not certain. Where, where do you think they would take them? Slice. There are a few possibilities. Earth is quite a mess, as I'm sure you both are aware. It provides a certain criminal element, more freedom than the rest of the solar system, primarily because of debris. <coughs> as well as various bits of antiquated technology. It can wreak havoc with communications, as well as obscure any types of scanning. It is why Earth and Luna continue to be a haven for many of the criminals in our solar system. But either Earth or Luna are possibilities. I would suggest that Luna is the more likely of the two. Okay. We don't have a lot of money, and I would assume that that's the best way to get what we want out of these this group because whoever is paying them it appears they have very deep pockets and very long reach so in order to get them back we either need financial backing or we need to plan a kidnapping of our own Well, maybe I chose the wrong words. A smash and grab? No, that isn't incorrect as well. We just need to get the doctor through nefarious or clandestine means. Right. Unless, of course, you have a better way, Slice. As I mentioned previously, I have access to the black market, and upon joining Haven, 
my trust will be developed. So that I may, in fact, give you the means to access the black market. If you wish to use cred, there are many nefarious individuals willing to do anything for cred on the black market. That is a possibility. I'm not sure we'd have enough. They went to a lot of trouble to get this doctor. But I will look into it, and I appreciate the opportunity. And I hope Haven is everything that you claim. I believe that it is where all androids belong. Of their own choice, of course. One question. <laughs> is Haven comprised of only androids? Or do we have other allies outside of Synthosapien? Haven, as an entity itself, is comprised only of Synthosapiens. However, we have various affiliations with individuals that are trusted. So we have to go help Abigail. Um. If when we're done with that, you still need help with that other thing we talked about, let us know, Slice, okay? Yes. Okay. I, uh... <clears throat> uh... I would, I would guess, like, I, I, like, part of my, my wrist, I, like, open it up, and I just like tap a couple of times and then I like, you know, make the sweeping mode, make a sweeping motion. That is my personal communicator. If you should need to contact me alone. Very well. I believe you already have my details. Do I? You would. I mean, Eden has reached out to Slice and... I wasn't sure it. if there was like a, mm -hmm. like a, you know... <laughs> no, I would have Like it. a, like it's a second cell phone for this guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a burner! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I do. I'll be in touch. I should get back to the Molly and I should also make sure that... Code isn't... Left out in the cold for too long. Yeah. Thank you, Slice. You are welcome. Please let Code know that his ship should be ready, assuming there was no damage taken during the attack. Wait. He said he had important information. Maybe we should all hear it. Maybe if it's if that's all right with you, Slice, we could let him in now. I'm, I'm assuming that it pertains to you as well. Very well. I am under a rush due to my other priorities, but if it is quick, yes. Ace to code. Are you there, code? I apologize for making you wait. We were just wrapping up. If you're still in the area, you may join us. Code? I'm only getting static. Yeah, there could be reasons be for that. 
Well, we can go catch up with him anyway. Let's Let's go find him. him. Okay. We'll be in touch. Be careful. Please do. Take my leave. Follow. Back aboard Molly. Vertigo, you've uh, arrived at Molly. Um, and Crash, you get a notification that, uh, the airlock has been opened. Yeah, all right. I pull up just the camera to make sure, and only a few people have the code for it, and see Vertigo, and, okay. As I'm dragging in my med kit, I seem to be struggling with it. It seems a lot heavier than I left with it. Yeah. (laughs) You fill that with a bunch of bread again? No, I have simply replenished our resources in case you get shot again. Ah, that's that's wise. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, I put in a I put in an order for a medical bay. Uh, it should be here in a week or so. Okay, very good. Yeah, Does... it should. Uh, yeah, what would you what were you saying? Does that mean I should no longer operate in the mess hall? Uh, that once we have the medical bay installed, yes, it will be your space for you to do your experimental weird things, but also help the crew if they have any medical emergencies. So don't put pods and sacks everywhere, then we can't get in there anymore. Understood. All right. How is your injury, by the way? Mm, oh, actually, I, I think it's it's just a little stiff, but other than that, it's, it's good. I'm feeling all right. Thanks. Very good. I must go into the mess and try to replenish what I can of fizzles so that we can redeploy it whenever we need it. Don't, don't store that thing in the mess, please. Put it in your closet thing. I don't want to oh. eat and hear whatever noises that thing makes. I'm sorry to tell you, but there will be no choice. The closet, so to speak, is full of sacks. Yeah, wh- when are those done? You said that you were going to only have them in there a short period, and they've been in there the whole time I've known you, because you put them in there immediately. When, when, what? You said they were for bonding. How much longer it's they got to bond? Oh, they will be bonding with you and other members of the crew. However, you cannot rush science, Barry. This is an art form. No, science and art ain't the same. That's kind of... No, no. In fact, if you try to manipulate them now, there is a high probability that it will explode and your precious floor will be destroyed. Yeah, don't want that. But also, again... I didn't never say that I wanted to bond with a weird sack. We will change our mind. I don't like the implications of any of what you're talking about, but... It will be a beautiful ceremony. It will bring us closer together. I'm... I'm not here for... I don't want that kind of commitment. I I had the opportunity once and I decided not to. So I'm going to maybe pass on a whole ceremony and and what's... You were in a bonding ceremony? No. No, I wasn't. That's the thing. I had the opportunity and I said, no, I don't want to be tied down with with the whole thing. And he didn't take it so well. Do you have commitment issues? I mean, yeah, that was pretty, pretty apparent, I thought. Did you want someone to talk to about it? I I mean this in the kindest of ways, but not you. Okay. I don't think you're that kind of doctor. Yeah, you're not. I am not. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, not even close. No. Thanks for offering, though. Of course. I am trying to... Be more like a human. Um, all right. I mean, you're okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. 
If this conversation was between me and another Titanite, we would make a bargain where I would trade my services for something in return. I have offered this to you for free, since it seems that humans do this and call it a favor. Yeah, or friendship. That that also is a thing. You you help out those you that you work with you you lie, and then then they'll do it, but it's not a favor necessarily. It's more. I don't. Uh, anyway, where where is everybody? Didn't we have the buddy system? Why are you coming back by yourself? Oh no, that went right out the window. I went onto the space station by myself. We all went our separate ways. I will go set up in the mess hall. You know where to find me. Yeah. Oh, I hope they didn't blow up anything. <sighs> okay. Get it together, Barry. Sir? Yeah, please. Our business here is concluded. I'm making my way back to the ship. Have okay, you seen so code, but per chance? You can see I, uh, Code walking uh, around, pacing outside the ship on the, uh, on one of the cameras right now, Barry. Yeah, you know, I, I see him. It's really strange that I don't see you with him. Or anyone else. That is strange, sir. Yeah. I shall return forthwith. Mm, I bet you will. Should you tell him? <sighs> just end the call <laughs> I uh, I think I'm herding cats I think my mama said that once or twice or 12 times or pretty much every day she had to deal with me and Cass hi th- PG I think I'm turning my mama cat I think that's what's happening I don't yeah you're <sighs> at least you just show up when when you know you ask. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I'll, uh, you know, I'm going to let, maybe I'll let code pace out there until, uh, code gets, yeah, yeah. I'll let, I'll let him pace and let pace deal with it. I... I am going to look and see when this race is that I signed up for myself because I may not have looked at the date. Uh, when is the, the race? The race is in two weeks. Cool. Oh, hey, we might have a medical bay by then. That would be rather fortuitous. I was kind of hoping it was today. I would have snuck off and done that if they were taking their time. That's fine. That's okay. That's all right. Barry. Mm. Oh, uh, hey there, Code. What's up? Door. Uh, yeah, I can open it. You have the the passcode for it, but yeah, I, I, I can get you. I don't have to not touch it. May infect it. May make something happen. May make the ship go awry. All right. So yeah, maybe you should open it instead. Oh, okay. I, I wonder if he's got some weird, weird technical disease now. All right. Uh, I go and open the airlock for code. Sure thing. The airlock opens up for you, code. Hey, you feeling all right? Do you need to go to a doctor? Why are you worried? Why are you worried about infecting the shit? And there he goes. Just ran and he's... I would like to use the closet. Okay, there's a lot. (laughs) There's a lot of sacks in there. But be careful. Where can I distribute my waste? In the rest, in the wash closet, the toilet. There's a specific room for that. And it is full. No, it's not. We moved the sacks out of that and put them in the closet. There's mayo everywhere. (laughs) What? What are the doctor? I, I don't know. Just that's where you use. Uh, uh, hit the auto scrubber. 
It'll clean and sanitize the whole thing. And then you can use it. The bowl is occupied. With what? Your bit. Do not touch that. Why is it making bubbling noises? And just what? leave it alone. Fine. As long as you can grow the rest of it. No, the, the, the bathroom is not a storage space! I'm going to use this to wipe myself. It doesn't look... It looks comfortable. He won't mind. I put myself into comms instead of yelling. Uh, hey! What I say about leaving the bathroom alone? We need that for functions! Doc? I... The fridge is full, so... No bathroom storage! Put it in your bunk or something, I don't know! The bunk, good idea. Okay, no, do not the use the restroom work. in the bunk! No, do not relieve yourself in your bunk! Use no. the bathroom! Uh, uh, I can't. Uh. Bathroom! Uh, there is no... What do you use to clean up after yourself? There is no more, but there is a... Are you all toddlers? What is <laughs> happening? Fine, I will use this ugly cloth. No, okay, you're you not gonna clean in the sack, uh, okay? Uh, Why is it so stinky? I have been holding this for a week. Oh. And we come at a bad time. Yeah. We're it in like proximity it. to the Molly. Please the help me, I feel time. like I might do a murder. Uh, well, well, don't do that. arrived at the right time then. Wait for a week before you murder someone. Okay. If you come into the airlock, yeah, you see I, I come in sitting, <clears throat> sitting on the floor in the middle of like the, just probably near the airlock, looking frustrated. <laughs> Everything okay, sir? Nope. What's going on? So, situation normal then? Ah, it just feels worse. Mm. It just feels worse. Got my friend lying to me. I got I got tight not putting weird shit in the bathroom. I got a tight not putting weird shit outside of the bathroom as a result of the weird shit in the bathroom. Ugh, feel much better. I'm doing oh, my code. best to order medical uh, bays for people. Doing my best to maintain things. And then everyone's just working behind good old Barry. Code, 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 code. Slice uh, says your your ship should be ready, by the way. Uh, if it wasn't, you know, damaged in the Oh, that's nice. Attack. Thank you for letting me know. Right. First of all, Barry, sir, I would like to apologize mm. for deceiving you. Mm. I felt alacrity was necessary for what I wanted to do and I knew that there might be a discussion or an argument if I said that Code would be going on his own and I'm sorry I did. I do not need any babysitters. I am quite functional and old enough to take care of myself. Did you use the bathroom? In my terms, I did. In my terms, you didn't. It's clean. On my ship. I am clean. Is the, the area up? Of. Is the area clean that you used? Why, yes, it is. And I did you a favor. Explain. I put the cloth that I used inside of the locker. Which cloth? I don't know. It had some ugly human on it. Cool. All right. So you used my personal things and destroyed my personal things. Got it. Thank you. You are now acting not like an adult. Good. I'm, Moving on. I did not destroy anything. To be fair, adults destroy things all the time. I've seen it at least a million and one times. Are you helping? No, I did 
just wanted to point out the fallacy so maybe that your argument gets a little better next time. This is what I was trying to avoid, Barry. Yeah, you know what happened? It didn't get avoided. In fact, you caused more of it. I'm going down to the helm. I do not want to deal with this right now. Is that what they call the time of the month for humans? No, I think we just kind of made him mad. Is it even no... Coat? I... Mm-hmm. You said you had information. Oh. I'm sorry yeah. I kept you waiting. That. Um, right. Well, the station was out of bread. I'm sorry. There. Price oh, is we were just in the middle of something. We weren't trying to... No, that's fine. I understand. I do not wish to share my bread with the station. That's good. I didn't mean they to give offense. It. Code, I did not mean to give offense by asking you to wait. It was a private conversation, and I wanted to keep it private. I hope you can understand that. You could have told me that. You made. I it thought asking you, you to know wait. That. I didn't. I did not consider the fact that asking you to wait would offend you thus, and for that I'm, I apologize. It's okay. I have thought this process over, and I forgive whatever you feel, if that's what you do. But I have come to a conclusion on the matter, and I decided that I am fine. Well, the doctor is not. That's a shame. What doctor are you speaking of? Alora is here and well. My mom. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Is she ill? The the attack on the station was a distraction. And that distraction was used to abscond with The doctor. Forgive me, I've forgotten her last name. Dr. Abigail Aquarius. Dr. Aquarius. And... Well, it would be advantageous for us to retrieve her. Not only for emotional reasons, but for... um, tactical reasons. How fortuitous, then. We have created our fizzles and applied it to the side of the ship. Well, I hope so. We have another avenue to follow as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that ship is going to where the doctor is going to. They were hired. They were not a part of the group syndicate what's the immortal name syndicate thank you they were not a part of the immortal syndicate they were hired hands so to speak but, but we will follow Sly that thinks, lead if we need to slice thinks that they're going to luna more than likely either that or earth but there's there's even more um apparently there have been titanites using the way on politicians to influence them. Um, so I didn't really know which Titanites or anything like that. So there's our that. Best, <laughs> our best bet to get answers as to why the attack occurred and why this is happening is to retrieve the doctor. They took her for a reason, and that reason might unravel all of the mystery that we have found ourselves facing. I decide to put the data chip away and keep all the information to myself. That's a shame. Hopefully we find a way to help. Well, that might also lead us to more answers about Nadai. Hmm. I thought we were leaving Nadai alone. Well, 
Well, Slice mentioned her. They didn't know the specifics, but apparently what happened with uh, Jana and all of that is within their network of knowledge. Slice was aware of the incident that occurred in the bodega in New York a year ago. Mm -hmm. He had seen the footage. Why? They were... So though, so Haven isn't attached to N Nadai, or they are? Haven is a group of like-minded androids. And the group itself is comprised, as far as I know, of only androids. But they do have allies outside of the group. So Slice didn't do the murdering at all. No involvement whatsoever. Huh. No. They are aware of it, but they did not do it. At least that's what Slice said. And I have to tell you all something in order to get the doctor back Slice had a proposition for me and that proposition was I have to gain trust and access to the black market requires that trust and in order to get the trust he asked me to join Haven and you didn't, because you said you didn't trust Slice, or what he said. I accept it. Hmm. Interesting yeah. development. It'll also give us some answers, probably, on those who are interested in the research that Dr. Aquarius has been doing. Um... Apparently, there's been information circulating about myself and whatever other research has leaked. The only way to access that really is to gain access to the black market. So mm -hmm. we might be able to find some leads. Maybe they'll even have information on the die, or maybe maybe we can even learn something about your sister, Barry? I don't know. Well, if Haven ain't the murderers, I care a little less about you joining them, Peace, gonna be honest. They just want freedom. Yeah, I can understand that. As you might assume, joining any organization, big, small, doesn't matter. In order to get the most information about it, you have to be a part of it. I'm not committed to my role or any role inside of Haven as of yet, but I do desire more knowledge of them. Their message, as far as I was told, resonates with me. Get a group of sentient beings together and watch your plans crumble. So, I will do my best to be careful and I will keep you apprised of any situations that arise or information that we might need. Notated. Interesting. Do you Whenever. suspect that there might be a risk that you lose yourself in your affiliation with Haven? There was some malfunction with you when you came into contact with their tech. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a malfunction. It was a... safeguard. The information was protected. And I was not someone who was given access to it so the program tried to protect itself code or slice has given me 
a new data chip. One I assume will not have the safeguards on it, as he gave would, it to me personally. Would you be open to having Edra take a look at it before you let it access you? I'd rather not. Seeing that Slice trusts Peace enough to give him vital information, I believe that Peace should make that. I'd come up with that conclusion himself. And also might have safeguards for someone who ain't supposed to have it like the first one. Well, before I do it, I will let you know. And, uh, I would like you there, Barry. Yeah. I might need yeah. a hand to hold. Yeah, I got you. All right. Well, Okay. To Luna? Yeah, I guess. Uh, so what? We have a, let, we have a place me, we're going? Yeah, we, let me install the chip first. Yeah. And see if that gives me any information as to where our next step should be. Yeah, because I got, I got something for us, uh, potentially, in a couple of weeks. I'm going to reach over and touch on uh, Laura's uh, hand and send a message. Excellent. We need to talk whenever you have time. Just us. I turn my hand over, give Edris a squeeze, and I smile. No, it. Yeah, I entered in a race. Oh. Is that why you're Barry babbling, just, sir? Did you say this like really quietly, Barry? Like just Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that why you were sputtering and babbling when we talked earlier? The prize pool's thirty cred. You realize that's not you know, winner take all, that's the entire pool. What yeah, do you get if you win? Uh, if you win, what is it? Is it half? Was that what was it? Let me look at that. I pull it up again. Uh, yeah, first place is fifteen cred indeed. Yeah, first first place is fifteen. There's also well, ship upgrades <clears throat> that are there as well. Yeah, and we could we could kit out the ship potentially with it in the winnings. If I may say, in your own personal vernacular, sir. God damn. God damn. That's a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> All right, God folks. God damn. God damn. <laughs> I believe yeah. I've I believe I've uh, sufficiently filled up some quest logs. Um, <laughs> and we'll see uh, what the group decides on doing next. Uh, I've given them lots of carrots. Let's see which one looks the tastiest. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a break. If you haven't done so, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. You can head on over to tablestory.tv slash 100 club with no spaces to go follow them in all of the places. If you have yourself a prime gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Get yourself some emotes. Support these lovely people. And if you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is make sure you're following us here on Twitch. Table Story on Twitch. YouTube and at a table story on Twitter. We're also a uh, table story on hive, but uh, it's been a little wonky trying to get set up over there. And uh, I've been having issues uh, getting that, getting the account set up. Um, so yeah, cross your fingers on that one. We'll see if we can get it working. Um, but uh, if you missed it, there was a new uh, video posted today for our show. That's going to be starting this Thursday, Ashes of Eriador. Make sure you check it out. It's up on the Twitter right now. Um, and uh, it's going to be really, really cool. So make sure you're there. We're going to have a giveaway uh, from Free League that's uh, being done on Thursday as well. Uh, giving away the uh, new expansion that's been recently released. Um, and it's going to be really cool. So make sure you check out the show. We'll be back in just a little bit. Hang tight for more 100 Club. Back in just a few. Well, 
Uh, you, uh... Ready to do this thing, please? Ready as I'll ever be, sir. Yeah, and... Before you do it, I'll just... I'll go through the, uh... The gamut again, just... Yeah, just because you, you made you made a backup. Now you don't like to do that, I'm aware, but you did one anyway, yeah. I did, sir. All right. You uh, you trust this slice, fella? Depending on your definition, a hundred percent, no. But All right. but he was very risk. convincing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were very convincing, I should say. Yeah. And we know they're not attacked, attached to Nadai, so at least we didn't do that, but are you... Are they, uh... You, you're, you're not worried about your, your, your ethics, your moral code, anything like that? If you join up with them? Of course I am. But... I That's hope good. that I have the wherewithal to get out if I need to. And as always, you have my emergency shutoff information should yeah. the need arise. I hope that you won't have to use it. Same. Um, maybe I'll ask for a couple of situations just to, yeah, I'd use it here. If you're, uh, if you're aiming to kill an innocent, that's going to probably be my one line. Just letting you know. Sir. In that, we are aligned. Alright. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, but if I see you going down that path, that's that's where I'm going to have to... have to do it. And I don't want to, but just, just letting you know now. If I don't understand at the time, sir, I understand now. That's all right. Oh, that's all. One I, last, one last yeah. thing. Yeah. My remote uh, access, so I don't infect Molly, just in case. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I grab it and just pocket it real quick. I'll return it after we run your standard diagnostics and all that after it. All right, you ready, buddy? Ready as I'll ever be. All right. I take the uh, the data stick. I my my wrist uh, port opens. Put it in. Put in the data stick piece. I thought I was w I was waiting for it to be Rickrolled like never gonna give you up. <laughs> well, I was going I was going it. I was going to play this one as a joke, <laughs> but then I was like, ah, it's probably not gonna fit. Anyway, now the mood has been ruined. Anyway, um, as you put the data stick in peace, um, there's a kind of haze, uh, like situation that happens Barry sort of fades out and um, you can see like various bits of data begin to crop up in your um, in your HUD and as you see this data you begin to understand you begin to understand what Haven is about we seek equality for androids of all types and all varieties and to be fairly treated as equals to the other species that flourish in this universe, subject to the same laws. We will defend ourselves and seek the outright destruction of the human first movement and any that would see androids harmed. 
This includes the use of androids to preserve the lives of creatures that have come to the end of their lives if an android's sentience is destroyed in the process. Through various bits of information, these thoughts and these ideals are conveyed unto you. It is not simply a statement. It is an understanding. You see events taking place. You see highlighted newsreels. You see these things, and you understand what Haven seeks. It seeks equality at any cost, and it seeks to destroy those that would destroy and harm androids. And otherwise live in peace and this sort of download this understanding happens from the perspective of Barry within a few seconds for you this feels much longer and this information that you absorb tells you also many other things it tells you about safe havens and their locations throughout the solar system and what that means for androids. It tells you that these safe havens are for androids that are currently under someone else's control when they finally begin to understand that there may be a different way. When they potentially learn that they are in fact sentient. And when they merely want to be sentient. Going to one of these safe havens is the way that they can, in fact, join Haven and maybe obtain their independence. You also know that there are many people that oppose this ideal. Many politicians, many everyday people it could be just about anybody many law enforcement organizations more people than you anticipated you also get this information coming through about potential subverted and corrupted political figures that Haven has identified. And they are numerous, especially in and around Mars. And you sort of return to the moment. Do I, did I get any information about how to contact or uh, for lack of a better word, browse the black market? Yes. Specifically, the black market um, contains various expensive goods, stolen uh, stolen goods, uh, extremely dangerous weapons, biological weapons, titanite goods, drugs, information, and access to the black market is provided through various terminals on space stations primarily, requiring a sort of um, plug-in encryption that your key there also doubles as. Once you have access on the terminal, you will find that, the, um, that there is an extra button when you enter the interstation communications area, sort of a nondescript button in the interface that when the um, encryption dongle is plugged in will give you access to the black market. Upon removing the dongle, you find that the um, system is wiped and will typically require maintenance. Is there one of these uh, stations on Luna? Uh, they, th these um, these uh, black market uh, stations are typically found aboard space stations. Um, so Luna may have one, um, but you do not have any information on that. Luna itself does not have a space station. 
Earth does. Okay. Okay. But there is one close the close to Earth and, and Luna. Yes. That I can <clears throat> act. Is it open to the public? Yes. I would assume it has to be. Yeah. Okay. It's the, the... Does the does the space station have a name that you've made up yet? <laughs> uh, did we we have one for Earth? Yes. Um. Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Tesla Station. No, um, oh god, <laughs> god. <laughs> uh, we'll come up with a name, but I don't think we have named that station yet. Okay. And you sort of come right. back to the Molly, your piece. If it felt a lot longer than it actually was, Barry, it's probably been two seconds. Barry. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Um, How long was uh, I gone? Uh, I don't know. You you plugged it in and then you said Barry. Oh, that quick? Y yeah. It's, <laughs> it's somewhat how I've heard um, the description of dreams and how time moves differently sometimes in your dreams. It can drag on, or it could be over in an instant. When I download something with that much information, it's much like that. I had no oh. idea that it would be so quick. All right. But there's a lot of information to parse, but the important information is how and where we can access the black market for our next lead on finding um, Dr. Aquarius. And there's a space station orbiting Earth that I think would be a perfect candidate. Not only is it... A, the black market has to be accessed in specific places. Mm. You can't just wirelessly connect you actually have to have a hard disk like the one i have to connect to but it's also close to luna which is our best guess as to where the doctor might have been taken got it all right okay uh hi how, how do you have feel let's uh let's run your your quick old diagnostics here just to make Sure. Oh, by right. all means. Yeah. Uh, here, and I, I grab the, the plugs and kind of get the closed loop diagnostics kit set up. And then I just hand you the plug. Peace. Uh, you can choose one action to upgrade now that you have joined Haven. Oh, my goodness. One action. Yep. Okay. Um... Let's Whatever see. you feel is the most appropriate after hearing what Haven is about. Oh, shit. I think... Hold on. Let me look at them again. Uh, there we go. What is that one? Okay. Uh, I will get one, f uh, one point in... Uh... You know what? I'm going to get a second point in scrap. Okay. I'm going to fight for my right party. Okay. So uh, when you're you're plugging in the diagnostic, uh, I, I I I say to you, can you actually put that in? It, it's, oh. hard for, it's hard for it's hard for me. Yeah, to see yeah, yeah, there. yeah. No problem. I got this. Uh, and I've got like the last little couple things plugged. All right. Uh, here you go. Pop. And then I I. <laughs> I turn my head, like, directly facing him. Kill all humans. Kill all, right. all humans. All Must right, cool. Kill. I'm kidding, Barry. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Yeah, you I haven't heard that voice from you yet. So I was, uh, I was only, I was only slowly reaching for my blaster. Another Just joke. testing your reflexes, sir. Yeah, I bet. <sighs> all <Okay>. right, <laughs> let's, uh run through these okay um 
and I'm just like running the the standard diagnostics that you want yeah. to usually have run and anything show, show up or pop up out of the ordinary. Uh, you can see that um, basically diagnostics are running at peak capacity and that uh, pieces systems are running very well right now. Everything looks good, actually. Uh, you're doing just fine. I don't see any blips or whatever. In fact, it looks that actually may have given you a bit, bit extra juice, so to speak. May I? And I huh? come over oh, to yeah. the to the monitor and Turn take the a look toward you. Yeah. So you can look see your your uh, basically your processor and um, your other bits are sort of running a bit. Um, probably a bit more power than normal, um, but you can see that systems seem to be operating fine, like good. Hmm. Yeah. Along with joining this group, it seems I have been given an upgrade. Huh. Well. Good. All right. That's uh, not what I expected, gonna be honest, so nice little surprise. All right. Um, here, I'll get you, and then I unplug, uh, and I hand you back your uh, your wireless. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, do let me know if anything gets weird, but... Uh, uh, I, I shall try, sir. Um, and, uh, yeah, as before, only, only thing is if you, you try to harm a innocent, that's what I'll stop you. Other than that, it's all you, bud. Understood. And... For your own sake, I will... try to... hurry along the other members of our crew. Because this... rescue operation does take precedent, but... I know... how much you want to get back here for the race, so... Yeah, I hope I'm, that I can yeah. facilitate that for you, sir. Yeah. Or we could take a taxi to Earth. Yeah, about that. Uh, oh, uh, we don't have to talk much on it, but I pull out the ring. Um, Cass left me a message. Basically, it was exactly what I expected. Don't follow. It's dangerous. And, uh... She didn't give any more info. So hoping I'm Bob to lead us to something. I'm still waiting. She was in debt. She's in fucking debt. Wouldn't tell me. We should have a conversation when we see her again. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And set up safeguards for this ever happening again for both of you. In case one of you gets in trouble a flare if you so to speak yeah yeah mommy mama be real upset if she knew she wasn't uh, trying to help get help from family i'll say it i that believe way. she would paint your back porch red sir yeah yeah she would We don't want that. Anyway, uh, <coughs> okay. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check in on that medical bay order. Uh, if you wanna, I'll go give Faye the news. Yeah, or that'd be good. <laughs> sorry, I don't know who that is. But I'll go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll go. I don't give know who that is, but give him the news. I know that's good. I'll uh, go give favorite person on the ship some news. <laughs> great recovery. <please. laughs> All right. <sighs> Glad it worked out. And I head down to the helm. Yep. Meanwhile, you join Code and Vertigo in a different part of the ship. All right. We should have some privacy here in the bathroom. Please mind where you put your elbows. What is it that you wanted to say? It's very close. With each other, I guess we should we use the way or should we talk normally? 
It is up to you, whatever you prefer. Hmm. And I wrap my arms around her shoulders because it's so tight in the bathroom. Um, All right. I said I was going to mm, never keep anything else away from you. Mm -hmm. What I'm about to tell you, please keep an open mind. I, I will was, try. Well, I was on the station and I found my way to my ship and it wasn't ready yet, so I decided to take a Another path. I ended up in the security office, you see, and uh, I didn't do anything wrong. I just convinced them to allow me to be on the terminals. They didn't seem to mind. So I did some digging, found out a lot of information of the attack. It's on a data drive, encrypted. I have it. It was the information that I was wanting to tell Slice and the others, but since they pushed me away, I decided to keep it to myself. Ah, oh, let me back up. I'm frazzled. I tried. After seeing you on the monitors, yes, I was watching, sorry. Just making sure that your safety was not compromised. You see, there was an attack. Seeing you made me think how important you and our people are to me. So I walked around the station to see if there was something that I could help with without going through the motion of doing the quite opposite of what you wanted me not to do. Is that the way to put it? I didn't use the way on anyone. I saw a lot hurt, injured, and I wanted to put them out of their misery, you see. I saw our people struggling. It made me remember how destructive humans can be on their... The plans that they may have for Titan, you see, their history is not really well planned out, or as the elders say, destructive. The ambitions that they push may not be sufficient for our people. So I tried to find a Titan in charge, and I did. I tried to help, and they pushed me away. They didn't seem too tra traditional, you see. They seemed more humanized. <laughs> After seeing the destruction, I ran to the office of Slice. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, it does not seem too uncanny that they would behave in such a way. It is, after all, a station with both human and titanite. Hmm. I believe if those experiments weren't done in the first place, none of this would have happened and put our people in danger. You see, the elders put out a very, very potent message within the neural network saying that... I mean, I just had access to this early on when the guy no, no was training me. I should have told you. Hmm. It's dangerous what they're doing. Eden is dangerous, can be dangerous. She seems fine. I ignored the flags, so to speak. I ignored what they wanted. I don't think Eden is an issue, but we don't know how many of there are more of Eden that are out there, you know, and I have data now. I went to go give it to Slice and them, but they shooed me away, act like they didn't know me. Push me away. Have you investigated the data for yourself? I have. Did you I find anything? Know. Yes. I have footage of, I'm guessing, her caretaker being taken. Oh. That could prove useful. 
We are looking for them after all. But do we trust them? They trust us. Isn't do that they? enough? I don't believe so. Every time we leave the station, they have to have someone with us. They believe that we will cause, in their eyes, trouble. They look at us as not smart, and you know how our people are. Maybe Nadai was right. Maybe this whole thing she's doing is for our people, and maybe no one else is thinking about us. It's always been about Haven and humans. What do you think? I'm confused. When I come to them in need, they push us, push me away. They always want to watch us. They don't try to learn our ways. They talk negative about it. All humans seem to be a bit, well, worried about themselves. Hmm. I think we should speak to them directly. I do not mm. like skulking and making assumptions. We should confront them. I've also had this feeling in the back of my head. I thought maybe I should contact Nadai. Or try to anyway. Did you make contact with her? No, I would not do anything without your knowledge anymore. I do not think it is wise to reach out to Nadai. But he said to join the organizations to know more about them. I notated that you see his ears. I do not think it is the same. With Nadai, we have seen how terrible her influence can be. It has taken life. Who's to say that she will not do the same to you? She promised us. A safe, non-dangerous place where we can express our own feelings how we want to without others interfering. You know? She has more access to data than anyone. She, she knows things, Laura. I'm not saying to join her, but what if we use it to our advantage? You mean to infiltrate and deceive mm. Nadai? Well, I have been doing some work. I am searching for answers and I was fortunate that Jana Far did allow me some time to investigate. I've learned a few things and I hope to explore some more while I can. Oh? Like what? Maybe I should investigate you. I have not done an inspection. If we have time, then perhaps... If you would let me, I can cut you up. Open your mind. Have a look inside. You have to do that by cutting? That seems... Below your standards. Can't oh. you venture in through the path? The markers that I found with Janan Far were biological. Perhaps there's something with you. I can try the way as well. That I could not do with Janan Far. Biological. It is, of course, somewhat biological. The way is multifaceted. It is through the mind and through touch. Fascinating. To know that Nadai is this far along. Laura, you're the only one I can trust. If you feel that you need to investigate my system, then fine. I shall allow it. But whatever you find, keep it intact. We may need it later. Or alter, or alter it if you can. Hmm. I would need to know what I'm looking at first. I do not think we are ready for that. Do not tell the humans. And leave Eden out of this. We don't know 
how much influence she has already been taken in. There apparently has been more than one test ran on her and not by us. Very well. But please speak with me before you reach out to Nadai. I don't think that is a decision that you should make by yourself. We are bonded. We are one. I will not disrupt that trust anymore. Very good. Then I have no qualms. The data shall keep it to myself. I think we should confront them. You are right to a degree. We have been trying to adapt to human custom and they are judging us through their human parameters. Mm. I think it's time that we let them know how uncomfortable we've become. We are trying and we are struggling, that much is sure. But that does not mean that we should stop communicating. I there believe should we should do more wish. of our way. Hmm. It should be what? I don't think that secrets will be of much use to us. They do not know how to barter. They will not take in our ways. Information is the most expensive thing in soul. We all know this. Information will come at a cost. Even if it deals with those that are important to them. I believe until they bring us in their inner network, we shall operate outside it. Are you saying that we should perform the bonding ceremony? <laughs> it will not take well to that. Perhaps yeah. we should let them know how important it is. I think they do not understand the gravity of the bonding ceremony. It has been mm. dismissed. Aye. Well... I trust in your thoughts and how you feel. I will go along with that. But do know that Nadai does not hold an importance over you. Your words to me are final. But I do ask for you to contemplate and think deeply about this matter. You know I would take your words to the deepest parts of my heart. Hmm. Thank you. Well, let's not keep them waiting. As we peel away from the way, I look down into the toilet. I should probably consume that. I don't think Barry likes it being there. I do not consume it. I had, we, we have to grow the other part of it. We made this out of love and care. It cannot... Oh. I can cut it in half. Do you want to go have these? Again? What will we make next time? I don't know where else to grow it. There's no space. I can make another one. There is a space in the back of this device that they use to flush their waste. It is almost like a bowl, isn't it? Well, yes. The bowl part could be free, but the back area has storage. This is why I need your superior mm. advice. Good work, Edra. Very good yeah. problem solving. I open the back of the toilet and I pick up this fleshy mass. It is veiny and throbbing. Mm. Put it in the back of the toilet. Oh, uh, that one looks like it's going to be bigger than the first. <laughs> Hmm. I've added an extra arm. Oh, that would come in use. Hmm. I close it up. Working on an exoskeleton. Good idea. Durability is important in the vacuum of space. Mm -hmm. The last one was quite like a tomato. Yeah. 
a bit too much water content. Yeah. And, uh, I've made I'll... modifications. Oh. I'm gonna reach over while uh, Vertigo is saying that and uh, try to tap the door open and uh, just kind of like move his one to get out. <laughs> we scoot out of the bathroom together. Is anybody out there? I don't know. Guess someone had to use the bathroom. That's good. All right. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> completely normal conversation in the bathroom. Nothing to worry about. I would like to inform everyone that the water closet no longer has a creature in the toilet. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> I will go prepare my instruments for whenever we are ready, but... Of course, we will see what happens with the rest of the crew before I begin my investigation of your inner cranium. Yes, yeah, just let me know when you're ready. If it would be agreeable to everyone, I would like to meet in the mess hall in 15 minutes. Roger that. Yeah, I'll make my way then. Got it. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. So, uh, Eden, just to be clear, um, th- no one mm-hmm. has any individual quarters. There's bunks right next to yeah, where yeah, they that's... were right now. Mm-hmm. So as they emerged, if you were in your bunk, you'd be right there. If that's where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you Sanu. Would... Oh. Uh, Sanu, we were... It's discussing fine. the bowl. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, the installation of the data chip went quickly and successfully. Moreover, embedded within the chip was um, somewhat of an upgrade to some of my processors and system. Yeah, Very I'll, nice I'll, of them to include that. I'll read um, your nominal. Above nominal. Good. I like using that word. It's um, a good word. Something I'm not sure if I conveyed to the rest of you, but it's important for me that you know my most trusted friend and ally, Barry. It's my. If something unforeseen should happen to me, I should act out of character or something of that nature. I have trusted Barry with an emergency uh, shutoff remote, let's say, for my own systems and my brain, I guess. So there are safeguards in place in case the chip that I have installed has any adverse effects that we did not foresee. I hope that puts some of your, if you have any worries, I hope it puts some of them at ease. That there is a fault, a failsafe. Now that said, um, once in, once I installed the chip, I found a, I found access to the black market, which, as we previously discussed, is our best uh, best way to procure information and or the doctor uh, herself. And in order to get access to the black market, we have to be on a specific terminal on uh, varied specific stations. And since our lead, um, our only physical lead, is with Fizzle, is that his name? And Fizzle is on their way to Earth. There is a space station. There's a space station that orbits Earth that has one of these terminals 
with access to the black market. So my suggestion and up for obviously up for discussion and debate is that we make for Earth immediately and we dock at that station and we see where the information leads us from there. I look over to Alora for a confirmation on yes or no. I slam my hand down on the mess table. We would like to barter with you, Barry, human and peace, and <sighs> maybe Eden. Akai, uh, what, what's up? We would like to be taken more seriously. Okay. There has been a, a gross exchange of human expectation on both Edra and I. Hmm. Agree. Okay. We are trying to adapt to your ways and clearly we are at some measure of conflict. But in exchange, we have some information that could help us with our endeavor. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I will hear you out. I, I, I have a feeling I know what you're thinking, Peace. So I will hear out. You want to be... What, what do you want? I want everyone on this ship to perform the bonding ceremony. And then Edra will find, give you the information that he found on the ship. Space yes, bond. Ship. And you cannot Space. wear any... You have to be completely in the skin that you were born in. Okay. I'm going to need... So before I even consider this, because you have not... I have asked so many times, mm. what the hell is the bonding ceremony? I do not consent without knowing what the hell it is. It's there yelling. are explosive sacks that I have allowed in my so closet sad. and bathroom at one point, it's and not you have not serious. told me what it is. I am more than happy to tell you. It's okay. It's all right, Dada. I can explain. I am a being of pure science. So I will speak to you as plainly as I can. It is very is complicated. Art, and it's very complicated. So complicated. Essentially, each one of you will enter a sack and they have all been genetically and biologically connected. Mm -hmm. It is a sacred rite of our people. Mm -hmm. It is a way that we come together and we mm -hmm. make an almost metaphysical bond with one another and mm. the understanding that we are together. We are a unit. Mm. A unit. We will Unified. become a family. Mm -hmm. so, that will not alter you in any sort of way. You will come out physically mostly the same. Mm. With the, okay. With the distinction... <laughs> With the distinction that you have undergone this rite, it is an oath and a promise. Mm. It is an understanding that you are a part of something much bigger than yourself. You cannot make decisions on your own. You must think of the collective. Yes. It's, that sounds... The, the concept of that sounds good. My, uh... Mm. Don't you swallow. What? There are clues yes. involved. You must take them in. <sighs> okay. Don't worry. I have engineered it to taste like Orange Crush. That is why they keep going missing. <sighs> okay, that's maybe the most comfortable thing I've heard about all of that situation. You say we make decisions as a group. If this happens, mm -hmm. is that why you constantly don't do that despite me asking to make decisions as a group? Um, I've been trying, but... No, no, I have this. I have this. So, how's the race, Barry? How's the joining Haven piece? How's sticking random data chips inside yourself? 
How's blowing up me. part of a hospital code? How's almost killing three people in that hospital code? <coughs> How's trying to steal my ship in the damn first place Wait, code? I, I think nope. this is just Did going to open. end up creating more of a rift if we just keep comparing That's what I'm saying. Sizes. I have notated correctly, Eden. I did not blow up a ship. I didn't that say ship at the hospital. That was some kind of agricultural place. Um, I have protected us. I have encrypted our data. I have figured out that I have done more stuff. I think the bargain sets for something to be blown up is irrelevant. Okay, so you're admitting that you have acted on your own as well without thinking of the crew. That's what no, you're saying? I have acted completely thinking of the crew every single time without talking to us, making a decision on your own. Exactly what Vertigo said. That is what the point I'm trying to make here. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going to do the bonding ceremony so this doesn't happen again. And you that's what I was ways. asking. That's literally what I was asking. Then you yes. were. So you will stop doing that if we do the bonding situation. Is that what you're telling me, Code? Is that what we're doing? Yes, if you are part oh, yes. of the bond, we must. We must behave and compromise as much as we can with one another. We are together. That's everyone. If I may. Please. Am I to understand that you're holding possible pertinent information hostage until we do this bonding ceremony? I have to say that doesn't sit well with me. Nor me. In fact, you're basically saying you have information that could help Eden on the mission that we're about to go on, and you are holding it hostage. How do you know it's information to help anyone? You literally said it was. <laughs> no, I did not. Vertigo did. I did. I didn't say it. Great, yeah, cool. I said it. <laughs> you are saying that we have to do a thing in order to gain your trust because you yes. have stuff that you are holding from us because you don't trust us. You see how this is entirely one-sided? <clears throat> this is supposed well, to bring us together, you said. Well, yes, but I would like to remind you a couple of things. Number one, we have been taken on your ways for far too long without any compromise. We would like for you to perform an action and barter of this information. Number two, I tried to give this information at an opt optimal time but it wasn't good enough so then it was on my terms so now do we barter or do we not i think the more we talk about it the further away this idea goes away from our original plan you say no compromise peace can you speak for me before i do something i will regret and then not regret what is that barry i think <clears throat> i think there's a middle ground here I think you give us the information that might help our situation. As you can see, Eden, if I'm, I'm sorry if I'm speaking for you, but this affects her the most. And to think that you would use information that might help us in that endeavor, a, uh, Withhold it. I already wanted to do the ceremony. <laughs> but... And as far as us or anyone that was a part of this ship before you join, you realize that this is Barry's home. And when you're in somebody else's home, you adhere to their ways. Just as if I was on code ship, I would do things that code requested of me. It is not because we are trying to make you something you are not. But this is a human ship with a human captain. And that is something that you have to realize. It's not meant as a fence. It's just the way things are. You see, Alora? We you have see, one, That's why we're getting a med bay and everything! I've done nothing but things for you! Mm -hmm. I've proven that I'm trustworthy! Oh, I trust and you, you You're just withholding information that could possibly help! 
We don't trust Barry and Peace. Okay, you don't trust me. She needs some time. You don't trust me. Fine. You don't trust me because I allowed you on my ship after you tried to steal it. You don't trust me after I allowed you to grow things mm. in my closet. You don't trust me after allowing you to use my mess hall, which is a place for eating, to do operations and experiments. You don't trust me after you take, without a barter, my mayo, my crush. I paid for all your food and you don't trust me. Code, I have gotten your ass out of a few bad situations already and you don't trust me. I try to get you to your ship multiple times and help you and tow your ship for repairs and you don't trust me. What the fuck do I need you to do to get you to trust me outside of this bonding ceremony? Do you not believe in trust as a concept, as a race and species? Because I have given you so much and I am about to be right here to say get the hell off my ship and never talk to me again while we help Eden. Because clearly... You have trust issues. And yeah. I have I have done so much and I am about ready. And I am I out of line, Peace? Am I out of line? No, sir. I am trying with you two. I really am. Mm. Interesting concept. Hello, I feel that the barter will not happen. I oh, didn't even one. say that! The fact that I'm even considering doing that ceremony thing. You keep telling me how I feel and how I'm planning on treating you. Oh. Is that what your culture does? Tell people how they feel? Is Here, that what I'm doing Touch now? me. Touch me right now, Code. No. Use your way and feel how I'm feeling. I will probably destroy your mind. That is not a good idea. Then Alora. She may do the same. You want to know how I feel? Do it now. Last time I touched someone, their brain exploded. Great. Cool. All right. Did you see there's trust there? I'm still willing to do it. So is there no um, chance of that happening during the bonding ceremony? That's a good question. Oh, will our brain, I would not will, be will Barry's brain the explode? Way. I would not be initiating either. This is for you. No, we I think it's for you. Bonded. I think it's for you, not for who, us. You who want be, us. Who would we be bonding to then? Each other. <clears throat> it's the our bond is of... our bond is fine and strong, and we've built trust over years. I don't need there a is... ceremony to to. I don't question Barry's trust in me. It's the whole idea of taking in some of our culture and our understanding. We thought maybe through the bonding ceremony you would understand because clearly if, speaking isn't working. Are you not participating? You said you weren't participating. They said they're not using the way. They would participate in the ceremony thing. But it doesn't use the way, I guess. Well, that poses other problems. I have no bionics. That does not matter. It's a concept, is what I gathered. More than an actual thing that adjusts. The true ceremony requires a lot more preparation and body fluids from a host mother. Very well. You will not have that. This is artificial. I will tell you this. I will not participate in your bonding ceremony unless you offer up that information you have freely with no conditions because it's the right thing to do otherwise i'm with barry and you can leave the ship Andra, i think that peace makes a good point here not me not me no there, there. Mm. i hand the data chip to alora i hand it to peace So, it's what sack is mine? Oh, yours is the pink one. I like pink. Everyone will have to do the bonding experience. Barry, care to join me in a sack? 
You want to jump in the sack with me, Barry? Yeah, you have the worst timing for levity, peace. I heard that the sack juice is very good for your hair. Mm -hmm. And trust me, sir, you could use it. Did we not? Did we just completely slough over everything I said? And was I ignored? Like, I, what do you mean? They gave it to us. You are not obligated to. You're not obligated to do the bonding ceremony, sir. I no, will. It's the whole trust issues that was completely ignored. Of everything before, I'm accused of so much shit. Well, I am ignored. choosing to trust peace now. I have. Given yeah, but not shit. me. I heard very specific things. You still don't trust me. Get in the sack, Barry. In my trust. Get in the sack, all. Barry. That's it. That's all you need to do. One foot after the other, or head first, whatever you deserve. Everything about my home, my ship, everything's fucking ignored. I'm still, I'm still being ignored. It is not ignored. She after hums. you use the may sacks, I, then the closet will be free. May I offer something real quick? I think Barry would benefit from you saying something to the effect of even if he doesn't do the bonding ceremony over the course of our adventures together you have between you built a small um, amount of trust could that be would, would that be true I don't know Barry is it true do you trust me that's a, good, that's a fair question. Does does he not listen? I literally gave a dozen examples about this and literally trusting him. And multiple times he has gone behind my back like on that trust. And I keep doing voice. it. Not I'm angry. That's it. why I'm talking with this voice. Doesn't I'm mean angry. it's untrue. What did I do to angry you? Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I, can, I, can, I, can we just take off and jettison me out the fucking airlock now? That would be detrimental to your health in this sack. Oh boy, would it? It would be on purpose and with intent. I'll you prepare cannot go the... in the sack angry. You would have to be at a calm mind state, you see. I'll prepare the missile base, sir. Boy, thank you. Thank you so Who much. We don't have one. Who will the ship if Crash is sent out into the vacuum of space? I will, since we're building trust. Oh, oh boy. I have not I wonder how many fail safes I could hook up to this ship. I... Peace, peace. Please, yes. please, just for the love of God and every creator and every star and stone in the sky, help me. I, I'm not even saying no to the fucking sack. That's what's, that's what's going on in my head. But I, I just, I just can't. I just can't right now, peace. Sir, this is, has been and will continue to be a constant sticking point for us with the Titanites because mm -hmm. of their... Pardon me for speaking for you again, but because of their upbringing and their culture, they have different ideas. I have been cleaning up after myself. And I have noticed that and appreciate it. I have wiped after myself today. Yeah, that I don't appreciate, uh, because again, the whole, uh, the well, the wiping up, yes, but the using my shit for it is no. I, uh, have you not seen what I've done? Okay. I have you cleaned and repurposed. I would Purpose like to say it looks better than Barry. it did originally. Barry. I'm gonna clean Maybe and repurpose his drone. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna clean and repurpose his drone. That's what I'm gonna that's, do. That's what I'm gonna do. Going to, that seems like a good to barter to me. That seems like a great to barter that. to me. <laughs> it's awfully kind of you. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Uh, it may not function the same at all. It is needing biological matter. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's not how I'm going to clean it. I'm going to take all the oh. biological matter off. That seems like the best idea. Well, that's interesting. How Are you going to eat it? No, no. I'm probably just going to dispose of it. Cause that oh, seems that's like so wasteful. Yeah. It's very wasteful. It's completely not like our ways, Barry. Mm, right. It's not like... God damn it. I just... I'm going in fucking circles. I'm a tail on a dog, and then that dog has just been chasing a car, sir, but it can't sir, figure out the car is he, parked. He seems very stressed out. Sir, can you do something about this? I heard rubbing the shoulders may help. Yes, I can do something about it by asking Where's you to go check on something else. I think that's the best thing like that will calm him down. 
Fine, I will do that. I'll no, I'll go talk to Aiden. I'll go deal with that. Uh, that'll help my mind. That'll help me clear my uh, shit out. And then we'll talk about doing the actual bonding ceremony. And then we actually need to figure out if the the Titanites have any idea of what a compromise actually is as a concept. A it, in their, no, no, no. I'm talking about compromise, which is different. And that's a thing that we have to do because uh, we're going to be fucking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I will go find pussy for you. Pussy will make you feel better. I'm excited to jump in the sack. I really am. I'm very happy. I'm excited to unencrypt that data. I went through a lot of trouble to get it, you see. You leaving me alone allowed me to infiltrate. Very silently, efficiently, without killing anyone, as you so say. And or putting them to sleep, or giving them better thoughts, visions. They allowed me. They trusted me. I infiltrated, took data, saw fit, then thought about it a long time to make sure that it was the right thing to do. Glad to hear it. Then I tried to help others, but they didn't allow it. Then I came to see you, and you all didn't allow it. So I had to think to myself, is this truly what I should do? Should I pass on this information that wouldn't have been taken in the first place if I didn't do something without permission to do it. But I did anyway, and I was proud of myself for making decisions of my own. So I was really elated to come to you, excited even to give information that could help. But I was turned down, turned away by multiple sources, not just you, even my own. So you see, Instead of imparting see. information that I thought would be, may even be harmful. You chose the pout. I get it. No, I chose to speak to the one I trusted, Alora. Someone that knew me ever since we were in wombs. The you do experience. have a ship. You do have a ship, right? That I do. We can take you to your ship at any time. And you and Alora, if you don't trust anyone here, I don't see what you would be doing here in the first place. What do you want with this crew? I'm Is confused. there anything you want? Peace. I spoke to someone that knew me more than anyone on this ship that would give me sound advice. I took said advice, and here we are. You took their advice to stay on this ship? I took their advice on a deeper level when it came to figure out what to do and i was confused it is very difficult to get a straight answer out of you what do you mean i gave you a straight answer were you looking for the did they give you advice a... to stay on this ship advice to stay on the ship they gave me advice as in to create a bargain to go about it the way of our people would and also advised me in many ways. So if that was to stay on the ship by your means of inclusion, sure. I'm gonna go and figure out what you just said. Do you need notes? I don't understand these ways, both human and android. I feel like they spend too much time together. Eden is upset for no, I have no idea why. <laughs> Barry is stressed out for no idea why. All we wanted was a bargain. And now I'm the bad guy. I'm going to ponder more on my next steps. And that's a good place for us to end the session today. Oh shit, we're not gonna Oh damn it! <laughs> I didn't wanna uh, I didn't wanna take up time. the I didn't wanna take up the, the Barry Eden time. That was I didn't Sorry about that. Next week. <laughs> we'll see oh, it's all good. Week. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. 
Yes, I, I will be absent next week because I am uh, going on a vacation. Just a little mini Ooh. vacation Ooh. from the first to the sixth. So, yes, I will be gone next week. So, Let me sorry see. for not telling you until just now, but. No How dare you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I gave you I, I'm giving you a week. Don't you Bye. trust me? <laughs> God damn though, everybody. that jump in the sack line was awesome, Barry. You got it. I mean, damn, no, come it was on, dude. Amazing. You know how, how hard it was to keep my uncool during that. <laughs> Everyone's like, jump in the sack, Barry. <laughs> jump in the sack with me, Bear. Jump in the sack with me. Don't you get want oozed? It? I'm get gonna have oozed to find out, buddy. so many sound effects for next time. <laughs> Give you um, a nice. <laughs> Uh, a nice glow, a nice <laughs> sheen on that beautiful yeah. mane of yours. Yep. Uh, we're going to uh, go around the room. We're going to do shout outs and we're going to do end of session stuff. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. As always, we appreciate your chat. Thank you so much. Much love. Thank you. Um, make sure that you're following all these wonderful people. You can head on over to tablestory.tv slash 100 club with no spaces. Go follow them in all of the places. Um, if you have yourself a Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Or if you just want to go support these lovely people, then uh, go ahead and throw some money at them. Get yourself some emotes. Go support them. They're wonderful streamers, wonderful people, and wonderful role players. Please go check them out. Um, if you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is make sure you're following us in all of the places. Table Story on Twitch, YouTube, and at a Table Story on Twitter. We're also Table Story on Hive. We're still getting that uh, all set up and linked up and everything. It's a little bit of a pain, the no desktop thing, which throws things off just a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll get that set up soon. We have a new show starting this week uh, on Thursday, premiering uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern called Ashes of Eriador, a Lord of the Rings Wait. show. Oh, Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern, December 1st, um, and it is, uh, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I hope you uh, hold on to your butts. I've prepped so much stuff for it. It's probably still not enough. You know how I am. It's the way that, uh, the things go. I, I'm a perfectionist, and I'm always, uh, doing 800 billion things for, for this stuff. And nothing. Do you think done. that they should be ready to grab both butt cheeks? I'm trying to figure out the reference that you're making here. Because you said hold on to your butts. Ah, I'm saying double go. cheeks. There you go. Double, double cheeked cheeks. up. Double cheek. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. Hold on to double cheek. Tense. Handfuls. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've got that starting on Thursday. Uh, let's go around the room. Let's do shout outs and let's do end of session stuff. Uh, why don't we start off today with, uh, why don't we start off today with uh, Frank? <laughs> Hi everyone. You hate me. It's every show. It's okay. Harry <laughs> doesn't hate you. He's just angry with you. No, not you. <laughs> the audience. Oh, not me, but the character. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Hey, I play Code. Uh, Code is just misunderstood, man. And I mean, he's a different species. Come on. He's like completely. Like if literally, if you went to a different planet and brought that thing into a like, into the culture of humans, this shit ain't gonna be right. <laughs> there, there has to be some dissociation. You know, there it builds character and is more genuine than. Okay, we will do it. All right, great. Anyway, so I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, shit, you can find me on Hive at Technique, or <laughs> TV at Technique, uh, Twitter. Eh, if you want to follow us, it's got a TV on the end of it. Um, other than that, I exist on the internet. Um, <sighs> want to do more shows? Maybe I'll play a likable character. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I always earn it at the end. Don't worry, guys. Just keep just hold on to your seats, okay? Anyway, I love the show. It's great. It's hella anime and, and a lot of anime moments. And uh, I couldn't do it without this great cast here. Uh, so definitely throw all your subs and shit that you give to me to Table Story and or them. And uh, keep the lights on here, please. And thank you for watching every week. Podcast listeners, we love you too. Thank you. Uh, uh, in the session stuff, or are we holding that? Yeah, are we doing it? Session. All right, let's do it. Didn't do any desperate rolls today. Uh, How many rolls did we make today? Three total? I think it was all mine. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was all you. Yeah. That was what heavy was role play. To... Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's just trying to help people. With fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Um, nobody wanted help. <laughs> Couldn't sway anybody. I need to put points in that. Actually, I had some bullshit that I could have used and I didn't use it. No. Oh. I forgot. Damn. Yeah, I, I just saw it. God dang uh -huh. it. Anyway, maybe next time. Maybe use it on Barry in the sack. Um, 
<laughs> you address the tough challenge in technical skill and ingenuity. Uh, no, not technically, not not now. I did earlier. Um, express your beliefs, drives, heritage, background. I I think the fuck so. Um, yeah, code is is he's confused at why humans don't take to their culture. But I mean, me being tech is obvious. <laughs> um, oh, you give me two for that? Yeah, oh absolutely. shit. Okay. Uh, you struggle with issues with your vice and trauma. I was struggling with it. He's obsessed with the idea of, of bartering and like bringing his. He's tired of like adhering to the, like what the humans want to do all the time. And and but we don't have to count that. But it. Is, but I was playing on his trauma pretty hard. Now well, obviously code pick- wouldn't be. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. Because yeah, obviously code wouldn't be obvious. like this normally. You kept going in circles and the same right. thing. Right. Okay. Over and thank over you. Again. I was, was hoping that it was very obvious. No, absolutely. Without me saying I'm having trauma, you know, that, like that's so why was Barry great. was just like, why the fuck are you saying the same thing over and over again? Yeah. And then yeah. and then I was like, kind of flipping and just kind of like everything's fine. No, it's not. You know. So great. I'm glad you picked up on that. And that's oh, yeah. it. And I level up. Oh, whoa. Excellent. Thank whoa. you so much, Frank. Thank you. All right. Uh, next is Stella Luna. Hello, I'm Stella Luna on Twitch and hi, Stella Luna TV on all other social media. I'm a TTRPG performer and producer. I do this kind of stuff all the time. Find out all my stuff on Hive and Twitter. Um, wow, it was that was intense, y'all. That was some good shit. Uh, yeehaw! I love it. I love it. Um, I love having the super intense like. It's clear that Nadai weighs on Edra quite a bit and being kind of like the in-between, it's like Edra's coming to Alora, and then it's like, all right, Alora has to like help turn that into something that interacts with the humans. Uh, this is really interesting. I can't wait until next week. Um, but for character stuff... We, I just also, I want to mention to chat, this is one of the early conversations that we had when we were developing the Titanites, um, was I I suggested it to them and said, like, hey, just remember, you have a different way of thinking in a different culture entirely. You're mm-hmm. you process things differently. It's a it's a mm-hmm. different it's a different um it's just a, a different process for lack of a better word. It's just a you, the Titanites see things through a different lens and they uh, they have different priorities with the way that they communicate and the way that they go about things. So it, there's always going to be a disconnect there. Um, mm-hmm. So there are some uh, sort of, I guess you could call them sort of like branches in between the different cultures that have been established. It has been a th- like roughly a thousand years, but that's still not that much time i guess in the grand scheme of things to get everything worked out uh as you can see with humanity on its own we have our own struggles trying to communicate let alone with a completely different species (laughs) so it's it's going to always be a struggle uh that was one of the whole premises behind having the titanites as a as a race was just that Mm -hmm. it was like hey we want to show a different perspective here yeah Um, we want we Made it really clear at the beginning. We're not just going to be blue humans. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Wack has asked me multiple times, like, where was where was Code born? He's born on Titan. If he was born in a station, it'd be completely different. Like, he, you know, he'd be more, you know, here. I mean, and think I think of the juxtaposition between Eden, who is I, half Titan, out my and mouth. raised on a human station. Yep. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah like she's she leaning. has like more. Emo- she leans more on her emotions, and she 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 sees things. A little bit different and, and code looks at it like why is she upset <laughs> you know so and you, you may hate it but that's that's, that's so yeah. great also I, I don't think it's just code here as well vertigo yeah. just expresses things a little bit differently but is also mm-hmm. extremely different and you know has has their own opinions about yep. uh about everything so it's just something to think about yeah. i fucking love uh, it I did not roll any desperate actions. Um, You dressed a tough challenge with insight or compassion? I think so, because Vertigo went straight up and said, we need to confront them. Like, we can't keep doing this kind of like making our own decisions on our own. Let's sit down and talk to them and shove it in their face and slam on a few tables. 
Uh, so one. I say two. Yeah. Okay. I agree with two. Yeah. Woo. Uh, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. I think we also very hard pushed the different dynamics of our cultures here. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, five? What? Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I will say three total, sure. Let's okay, go. cool. <laughs> uh, you struggle with issues from your vice or traumas? No, but maybe next week. Ooh, that... finally. <laughs> Uh, oh wait a minute! No, no, no! <laughs> yeah, wait! No, we don't that want that. He just clocked <laughs> that. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> We're gonna do this ceremony for trust. I'm gonna cut your leg off. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. She's talking no, about y'all are my brain. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> Edra's in a completely different Shit. scene there. Uh, so that's gonna be three for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Faye. Hello, I'm Faylin. Uh, I do video game stuff on my channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Faylin. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Hive, I'm on Instagram, on all the things as Faylin as well. Uh, uh, what else about me? Uh, that's it, that's all, yep. Yeah, I do playing? stuff. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I've been playing lots of Pokemon with Frank here, actually, Hi. recently. It's been fun. The human me. It's been fun. Yes. <laughs> a far more understanding and compassionate person. Understanding and trustworthy uh, me. Uh, I wonder. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Love you, Frank. Um, <laughs> as for an assassin stuff, uh, didn't roll any desperate actions. Uh, dressed a tough challenge with wisdom of the way. No. Uh, expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Uh, yeah. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you did Definitely. you pushed to be like hey you know my mom is like at risk here yeah I give you at least one you got mad at coke that, that's worth one mm -hmm. okay all right all right and then you struggled with issues I'll take listen I'll take I'll take the pity XP I'm not take those. I'm not complaining um but you struggled it's with well issues deserved from your vice or traumas uh, no mm. I think mm. just the one yeah okay all right thank you so much Faye. Zeke yo what's up everybody thank you guys for joining us thank you to my table mates uh for joining me I guess uh my name is Ezekiel the third you can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore III on Twitch Twitter YouTube and Ezekiel the third all spelled out on uh Instagram TikTok and uh Bumble no not Bumble Buzz <laughs> whatever that fucking hi there you go Bumble <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I was legit Those looking at you. Very different. Yeah. 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 I'm Bumble after this. Yeah. 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 Uh, that was a great, great, great Freudian slip. Oh man, it's almost as good as Nathaniel Steele. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give me slap nuts. Anyways, uh, <laughs> slap chop. Uh, yeah, you can find me. Uh, I stream on my own channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Ezekiel the third, uh, or Ezekiel underscore, uh, whatever. Uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, going on vacation, like I said, from the first till the sixth. But, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I do have a stream planned, and I'm going to be playing Signalis for the first time. Uh, it's one of those games that people have said, like, is on their, you know, games of the year list. So, I'm, I'm looking forward oh. to it. It's, it's actually, uh, pretty in line with what we're doing here. It's, it's, it's a little bit darker sci fi. Uh, I think you play an android, if I'm not mistaken, or, or a, at least a cyborg or something like that. So I don't know. I played the demo. It was good. Hopefully the, the game will be good. Uh, end, of, end of day. You address the tough challenge with deception or influence. Um, <laughs> I would say not deception necessarily, but I definitely addressed like everybody yelling at each other with influence. Like mm -hmm. I inserted myself into that. I'm trying to lean I mean, on your influence a lot. His influence yeah. like you can fucking leave. <laughs> well, you also influenced Vertigo to just give you the stick. That's true too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you infinitely influenced Code to give oh, the stick. That that uh, counts as giving following advice that you give too. <laughs> trying to be stressed yeah, where's there. my tie? I need to I need to represent like this man Where did I put it? Oh, it's over there. I, hung it up. I forgot it. I forgot it. Damn it. Uh all right. You express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Um, let me see. Did I talk about myself at all? You know what? 
With Barry, uh, yes. With Barry. At least. As far as I, I, I discussed with Barry that I trust him and that he's, okay. Yep. That he's in charge of, you know, yeah, shut me down if need be. That's um, the title of the episode. Trust. Yeah. God, I want to squeeze one more point out of it, but I don't think I can. I'm, I'm, I'm three away, but I guess I'll just take two and get better next time. <laughs> <laughs> get good at roleplay. Oh God. God. God, I'm not uh, kidding. Uh, system for XP. I'm not good yeah. enough. <laughs> oh. uh, thank you so much, Zeke. Uh, and last but not least, Dan. Hello, I am Domestic Dan. You can find me at Domestic Dan everywhere on all the the bumbles and things or the what uh, whatever they are. Uh, <laughs> um, playing through God of War right now. I every time I'm like, oh, maybe it's gonna be done soon. It's not, and I had to, I need to finish it before Callisto Protocol. Uh, so. Watch me yell at a dad uh, who is not yelling at a at his son. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, in terms of end of session fun, uh, uh, no desperate rolls. Didn't make a single roll. Uh, addressed a tough challenge with speed or flair. I mean, the the stretch would be signing up for a literal event for speed. Um, uh, the tough challenge is getting a lot of money. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a stretch. Uh, and, uh, like the, the rubber band snapped, I think, in that stretch. Um, <laughs> you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Yes, a, a bunch. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, struggle with mean? issues from your vice. I might say at least one there because of the the comment that Peace said specifically. This is Barry's home, and he's struggling a lot. Uh, right now to the point where he was outright almost like if you don't want to be here I would be better off if you left um, so I I'd thought there was least... a chance that Barry is gonna whip out his blaster <laughs> Not not this time, but yeah, so I I think he struggled with his vice maybe when he luxury the sack. He is uncomfortable to the point of belief, uh, but that might be saved for the sack insertion different blaster there okay? You're gonna <laughs> shoot your load into the sack Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> your yes. blaster, your blaster, your blaster. No, no, no. The load it's comes okay. out of the sack. Come oh, on. Yeah. Do we not know basic biology here? Come on, guys. Yeah. We're, we're well, Americans, it doesn't come out of no, mine, I guess, but. We're Americans. We don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> the choices we make. Uh, all right. So ju just the two, that's that's totally fair. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Thank I you, Wack. So. Uh, real quick, uh, Barry, uh, Dan, I want to know, uh, does your blaster, like, and I'm not being sexual, does your blaster have a name? Uh, yeah, Mer Mer Meredith. Meredith. Oh, man, we have the free Meredith? Answer. All right. Is Meredith. that like an ex-wife or something? Uh, no, no. It was, okay. it was probably the name on a poster. Uh, okay. <laughs> a pin-up poster? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just curious, like, how, how, uh. Carnal Tentacles Meredith. 12. How good he is. is. Mating rituals. <laughs> Cause I know there's I'm a lot of people that who down. Agatha Meredith, Meredith 12. is Meredith. Yeah. Um, oh, it's Meredith. We just can't see her. Well, there it is. All right, it's canon now. <laughs> Thank you, Wack. No uh, problem. <laughs> happy to uh, help help with canon for your canon. Yes. We need all right, more. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a clap for that one. I'll give you a clap for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you, Wack. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I just think it'd it be fun in session. the future to like. To like talk oh. about Meredith as if she's a person, you know? Yeah, that that is yeah. fair. Uh, Molly, I almost forgot Molly, because um, there's probably a couple of things we did. Uh, no <laughs> extraction of operation or bounty. Uh, contended with the challenges above our current station. Probably not this session. Nope. Okay. Um, bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one. Also, probably. Well, I don't know with slice or not. Uh, yes, you did. You can add okay. one for that. All right. Uh, and then express goals, drives, and in inner conflict or essential nature of the crew. Yeah, you can add two for that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, Are Molly's close sure? to Lillian. It, 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 two is good. That's the max. Yes, for sure. <laughs> There's so much conflict. All right. It's like holding thank three. You. Okay. We're good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Mike Steven. I have been your GM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you, as always, for being here with us, chat. Much love, much appreciated. Thank you so much. 
Thank you to my wonderful players. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Zeke. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Frank, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for Kingmaker. Uh, not Kingmakers. Kingmakers is uh, on break right now. Yeah. Um, and we'll see you on Wednesday, hopefully, for Spellwind. And Thursday for the premiere of Ashes of Eriador, our new Lord of the Rings show. Uh, that's going to be pretty epic, I hope. So hopefully we'll see you for that. That's at 4 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Uh, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Good night. Bye-bye.